Happy Halloween. Welcome to Crossing the Line. Today we're doing ourselves a little bit of a holiday treat. We're going to be trying a different assortment of Halloween themed or weird candies uh, from our, both our childhood and some new ones as well. Uh, just decided something a little casual, something a little nostalgic, just a nice little casual thing to do. Uh, basically all we did was we each got ourselves one of these buddies with a pumpkin pail, the old classic. The old, uh, we went to Walmart after school, and you only get a costume within this certain dollar range. <laughs> you uh, broke yours in the first frame. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Go back and get another one. It's fine. The dollar is okay. Maybe the pink ones are more, uh, more durable. <laughs> yeah, maybe the pink one's more your speed. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so anyhow... Uh, we each got ourselves a pumpkin pail, and we each went out and we got some candies that just evoke what we remember from our old days of trick-or-treating and just Halloween in general. Things that make us think of this particular holiday, and we're basically just gonna try, what, try do a little show and tell, try out what we've got, and just kinda shoot the shit. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, who wants to go first? I'm G-Pool. I'm V-Vlogs. I'm... <laughs> I'm blue from sus breed. <laughs> I'm blue breed. You really can't handle that mask, can you? It's so it's so fucking funny. I keep looking at the corner of my eye at the damn screen. It's so funny looking at how far it looks like I'm turning my head with this thing. <laughs> I look like a damned owl. You're like the the depth diver from Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, the fucking cretin from the bottom of the damn lake. And before that, we got a wacky soda This here is Mountain Dew Thrashed Apple, a Kroger exclusive flavor of Mountain Dew. <laughs> for some fucking reason. Yeah, for Kroger. some reason. Even though know, the closest Kroger is like 70 miles away. Exactly. I managed to grab the last one <laughs> off of a Kroger website and have it shipped uh, like three or four days. It was very funny. But uh, regardless, we saw Badlands Chugs down two liters of this after he downed two liters of friggin' uh, God, what was it called? The pot, the flaming hot flavor that Jesus. sold down an hour. The rarest soda, he says. I don't know how he got a hold of that because they limited it to two fucking packs per person. He probably has a bunch of bots in the middle. <laughs> the Badlands bots. <laughs> he chugs, he chugs fuel on excursions bots. <laughs> no. <laughs> His son, OK Hip Hop, and figured it out. OK yeah. Hip Hop is also a fucking actor. OK. Alright. So I'm gonna draw. Um, it tastes just like candy. I like it. That is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> it reminds me of one of the candies I got. Badlands Chugs actually described this as tasting like green Jolly Ranchers, and I have to agree. That's true. Mm -hmm. I got the caramel apple sucker. Whoa. It's like a thin layer of caramel over a green apple sucker. Oh, nice. I love these guys. They're like... Is that something you haven't had since you've been trick-or-treating? I think so, yeah. I was surprised to find this. I'm going to open it just so I can show what the color looks like, if, if possible. And with our <laughs> lighting. <laughs> yeah, um, it just looks like a hunk of caramel, basically. You can see the green in there a little bit. Mm -hmm. I thought that was the wrapper. <laughs> you probably get some napkins in here. If I can put this down. It's down. I just set it on my pants. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you started round one with a lollipop. <laughs> I'll finish it. Stuck with it. I'll finish it before my next turn. Do it like a fucking Tootsie Pop. Do three licks and a bite. <laughs> yeah, bite their solid <laughs> caramel. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> About half. And he, he feels his fillings pop out of his damn jowls. <laughs> yeah, you, I have to talk now. You just went to the dentist for the first time in like eons. Uh, no. uh let's see. Let me get real with some of these. These are a candy that I that I also like exclusively think of as Halloween candy, even though they are they're not seasonal by any means. They're the uh the fruit chews, the uh, Tootsie Roll 
fruit chews. Oh, oh, awesome. I wasn't able to find those. Fuck yeah. You gotta go to the Dollar Tree for that, son. <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah, who wants a fruit chew? I'll take a fruit chew. You get lemon. Aww. Lime. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I need to get something to get rid of this one. <laughs> and then, I would, this was always like a anomaly to me because vanilla is one of the flavors of the fruit chews. That's the one I never got. It's the mm -hmm. blue one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's usually the most artificial yeah. fake fruit, but it's, an, it's vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like it. Yeah, but why, why is it in the fruit chews line? Yeah, and why is it like blue of all things? Man, this was up there with like those like strawberry candies that were just wrapped to look like a strawberry. Oh, Where yeah. they're, you, you can get them anytime you want, but I'd only ever see them at Halloween. That's true. I exclusively remember them just being in like every, the bottom of every pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Something about old people just getting those and then giving them up to the tykes. Oh, yeah. All right, another one that I know a number of people associate with Halloween, although, again, much like the fruit shoes, they're also not uh, seasonal by any means, uh, Dots. Hey! Whoa. Now, this time around, I got, I got Dots the too. new... Hell yeah, let's go. Specifically the mini boxes. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like... I decided to try a new Dots that uh, came out very recently. These are ghost dots and essentially the gimmick is they're all a shade of weird mucus green but they're, <laughs> they're all different flavors but you just don't know which one you're getting because they're all the same color let's see magnus over there from behind you <laughs> he's crawling around like the bio lizard <laughs> <laughs> I love the, I love that every, every now and then people will just refer to something as the bio lizard. It's really good. I love the bio lizard. The bio lizard. It's so funny and it's the like the weirdest bit of Sonic lore. It's from the most popular Sonic game. It truly. Really nobody is. ever talks about the bio lizard. I know, like it's so just its background alone is so fucking hilarious. Just the fact that it's the prototype to the ultimate life form. The prototype of Shadow the Hedgehog. A giant <laughs> fucking lizard. <laughs> dinosaur with an engine in its back. And then it became the final hazard. And that was scary. That was scary, that was. You, you crash into its gross boils. Oh, they're so sticky. Mm -hmm. They're very small. Are dots always that small? Yep. Mm -hmm. I just remember them being bigger when I was a kid, I guess. You had smaller hands. Yeah. I got a flavorless one. Me too. Match dots. That one was lime. Mm. Thank you, dots. Thank you, ghost dots. I like dots too. Uh, now for my second unedible candy. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly Ranchers <laughs> hard sticks. I oh my god, I was the bane of my fucking existence as a kid. As a kid, I would always eat the easy to eat stuff first and mm -hmm. save these for last. So I'd have a bunch of these at the bottom, like green apple and blue raspberry. This reminds me of the green one. So you were saying. And so, like, those things suck. They, the packaging sticks to them to oh, ungodly yeah. godly levels. In Florida, we walk around there in the summer and they melt to the packaging, so they just, like, are unopenable. And once yeah. you try to eat them, they don't, they're, like, inedible because they're so hard, like, hard as a rock and, like... <laughs> Absolutely, my God. But I would try to make them last because they'd always be the end of my candy, so I'd have to suck on them and mm -hmm. do my best regardless. And mm. it's not on a stick like a lollipop, so once you start, you're done for. They're <laughs> yeah. so long and awkward shaped. Let me just try to open this on camera and see what happens. Don't spill your drink. There doesn't appear to be any, like, tear lines, <laughs> so I'll have to pull this part. And then now I have the signature Jolly Rancher tear down the middle. <laughs> which means I have to pull it around the sides and then I'm stuck doing this thing which eh, I got a pretty good pull that time yeah, but now I've got like a bunch of sticky paper <laughs> he said, he said it like it was a fucking like card opening <laughs> I got a pretty good pull that time and this is your this is your holster by the way you don't have a stick you have like the, the sticky ends of the wrapper if you're foolish enough to fully deet sheath that saber yeah, and then you're just done. You have for. this whole thing in your mouth, and you just you got to hold on to that for like three hours. Watching you do that made me cringe so much. It just reminds me of like sitting in the car as my family drives me home, and like just having sticky palms, <laughs> just going like that and going. 
just if you if you take it out of, from the wrapper, it either sticks in your mouth vertical and it doesn't fit all the way, or you put <laughs> it in horizontal and it's like those things at the dentist where you bite down on them so they can take a photo of your teeth. Mm -hmm. And like it doesn't hurt, but it just makes you tear up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just some yeah. fucked up nerve thing. Seriously, it's really hard to open these this way and not like just have the stick. And mm -hmm. especially as a child, your mouth is not big enough for this whole thing. <laughs> Exactly. The small, the smaller, like, round ones are infinitely better than those. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Fucking, God, and I was a monster. I used to bite down on those, and I just remember, like, it being in my, being in my, like, being between my teeth for, like, hours. I hate yep. you. I like biting <laughs> candy, I'm sorry. I would always get them stuck in my teeth, and they would just never go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got dots in my teeth right now. Same. Hey, this one's, a. Uh, Halloween classic. Oh god. I hit the mic. It's Reese's. 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 Pumpkin. 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 Woo! Reese's pumpkin. Hell yeah. You know, pumpkin. it's. And these, these mini shaped ones are always the least shaped to be like anything. So. How close is the pumpkin? Yeah, that one's not that bad actually. It's not that bad. It's sticky and gross. That's as close as you're getting. <laughs> I'll do a manual zoom in later. <laughs> this one, that one actually looks kind of like a pumpkin. Usually the, they don't even get the uh, stem. It's just a, a circle. It's just a circle. I feel like the trees during Christmas are the worst. They're just like always a log. Mm -hmm. I will say I do like these ones better than the normal Reese's though. Just because I'm not, I don't really like the hard edges that they get from the cup. Mm-hmm. So just having it in a log, or like a turd, I feel really that. works in my favor. Speaking of hard edges, I recently tried these Snickers pumpkins. Those oh. things are not good. <laughs> but they have such a thick ass chocolate shell on the outside. If you imagine if all of the Reese's were corners and it was round, <laughs> it's such a thick chocolate, and there's not much like there's nothing super flavorful in the middle. So mm -hmm. it's just it's like you're just biting into pure fucking sugar. There's nothing to like numb the flavor. I just went from that Jolly Rancher to that Mountain Dew, and it was like out of the flame into the fire. <laughs> Hell yeah! You yeah, like tried to wash your mouth corn syrup. Out. <laughs> I did try. <laughs> Let me wash my mouth out with some thrash apple. Like, oh. <laughs> some more corn syrup. <laughs> it's it's appalling how they can make a soda taste like corn syrup. <laughs> oh, well, well, we should be using your straws, bro. Oh, yeah, true shit. <laughs> All right, so I got some Sour Punch straws. Uh, you... Uh, I don't know. I didn't necessarily get these a lot, but I always associate sour candy mm -hmm. with Halloween just because it seems like that's always when, like, a lot of these sour uh, candy companies tend to... You see a lot of these type of things in trick-or-treat bags. Not necessarily the Sour Punch straws, but others. Yeah, they they made their own, like, Sour Punch little, like, bite-sized things. They're mm -hmm. not, like, the straws, but they had those as little individual wrapped ones. Because the straws, like, they're straws. They can't fit in a treat bag. Right. So they couldn't really do a Halloween version of that. I'm surprised these even exist. Oh, yeah. These are spooky straws. Uh, I can't read the flavors, but I'm sure they, they have some kind they have some kind of gimmick going I want for the them. tangerine one, please. Okay, though. I'll just I'll open them and I'll just pass the pack around. My experience with Sour Punch straws is mainly at the skate park with Mountain Dew Code Red. Which was the most dehydrating combo you can possibly imagine. <laughs> oh, God. When you're a kid, you don't need water when you're a kid. Yeah, it's fine. You need a grape one. Like your hero, Grape Ape. It's true. Grape Ape, Grape Ape, Grape Ape. What? <laughs> grape Ape. I know what it's a Red. Oh, wait, this is orange. It's yeah. fine. Tan tangerine's like an exclusive flavor. It's apple, grape, and tangerine. There are a lot of flavors of Sour Punch Straws, if you didn't know. Like... Most people, I think, they just see green, red, and blue, but there's grape, there's watermelon, there's cherry. There's there's an absurd level of Sour Patch straws, Sour That's Punch straws. Where is it that we went where we just saw, like, a row of them? That was a gate gas station, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. And they just had a, a bunch of Sour Punch straws I had never heard of in my 25 years of living. These mm. straws are so fun. Mm. It's fucking delicious, holy shit. This is a match made in heaven. This is great. <laughs> too, bad, too bad you're all out of Kroger exclusive do. I'll switch my straw. Next I'll have Twizzlers. Ooh. Specifically these like little plastic packets. Which 
certain Twizzlers like these, you can just like turn into straws also. Same, I was also looking at those, the twists, they're so good. Yep. They're so like, I don't know, they're, they're like, a lot more flavorful than regular ones. They're also thicker. They're like ropes, whereas the like, Pitcher's Twizzlers is like little straws. These are more like thick slabs. <laughs> they're like mm. boys. Are Twizzlers your favorite candy? Yeah, probably. There you go. Go oh, ahead, Sure. There you go. They're like pretty inoffensive, but they're still really tasty. Mm -hmm. Not like pure, intense fruit flavor or like super chocolatey heavy. Mm -hmm. Much like Steven, I also value the, the appreciation of sour candies. So I got the trolley, trolley gummy worms. Classic, classic. And these are like little baby gummy worms too. And they're even smaller than your average worm. Oh, uh, <laughs> little maggots. Oh. So like, like look at this specimen. <laughs> That's so adorable. I love it. <laughs> it's so small. I know. Oh, it's brilliant. I love it. But as a gummy warmer, it's good. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I like sour sweets. Hell so yeah. I got a whole like trolley variety pack. <laughs> you could not have picked a like. <laughs> this, is, this is not mouth washing at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you keep trying to cleanse your palate. <laughs> like you just go back to candy flavored soda. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. My next one is probably one of my favorite uh, chocolate candies around Halloween. It is Kit Kat. Oh. Let's see here. I got a special spooky flavor. They had two ones this year. They had the uh, pumpkin spice and they had this witch's brew one. Ooh. <laughs> and witch's brew is apparently marshmallow flavor. Mm -hmm. Whoa. And... I don't know. I, I like it. It's, it's a fucking green. It's, it's it's a sickly green Kit Kat. What's not the love? I've got my own tiny Kit Kat. Okay. I like the ones that are like two inches. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you, you took the shot like that. I was supposed to go into Steven's bucket. <laughs> gonna get a, here's, the, here's the instant replay. How do you eat your Kit Kat? Do you break it or do you just bite it? I ate the whole fucking phone. You are a beast. <laughs> you, I, you should have known the answer when you asked. <laughs> I should. I already knew, but I wanted to hear him say it. <laughs> he needed to admit it. Oh, I love it. I just love it. Kit Kat's are definitely one of my favorites. Just the texture's good, the flavor's good. It's just something mm -hmm. nice. They're, I really like Kit Kats, but it's never a candy I go to eat for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Because they're really good. Mm -hmm. And they're a shit ton of flavors. There's just a lot of other candies that like stand out more, I guess. That's fair. They're my favorite chocolate candy. Like I would never go for a plain Hershey's bar when it's just like <laughs> low quality chocolate. Mm -hmm. There's some texture to the Kit Kat, but it's still just chocolate basically. Mm -hmm. Right. My favorite candy that, well not my favorite, I lied. Another candy that I get only at Halloween and is like a Halloween staple is just the fat Tootsie Rolls. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. These like bricks. If you open these, they're in like these paper squares. <laughs> and those are the most turd candy of all. They're kind of segmented, like you can see a little <laughs> bit, but there's no way they're segmented enough to actually break them up. Yeah. <laughs> like even if you tried. They're just grazed. It like, just does not. These are pretty like cold. That just doesn't. I always thought of them as like bite marks where you're supposed to <laughs> bite through your bar. Makes sense. I always thought they were just like grazed like bread. <laughs> <laughs> the the t like the long and thin ones are also good. Mm -hmm. But these bricks are very interesting. <laughs> Yeah, they have. There's the long ones. There's the original one. And the the brick. I never understood the brick. <laughs> I think the long ones are my favorite, but they're it, it's all the same thing. So it doesn't really matter. Just thought the bricks were always funny. As a child, they're so big. <laughs> it's like <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm having trouble working through it now. <laughs> I'm just Among Us. Among Us. Dunno. <laughs> I'm calling a meeting. <laughs> Personal creepy pasta. 
My name is Bluebreed, and we're in the middle of Blue Feeds. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Tentacle Grape. This was a soda that I saw advertised in Zones uh, at the time, most recent Edumations. Uh, what's the only link that was? Um, I think it just came out with a new one yesterday called uh, Dicks. But uh, regardless, I saw this advertised, and of course I had to go ahead and freaking grab one, because Shed Zone, why not support the guy? It's by Cosplay Deviants, or at very least that's who ships them. I think they also make them, but regardless, uh, I was surprised because I had purchased a calendar from Cosplay Deviants uh, when they were doing a booth in Megacon uh, down in Florida. And I just thought that was a really weird coincidence, but regardless, uh, it's really neat that they're supporting Zone and Zone's giving them a call out and all that mess. So I won I went ahead and I grabbed, I believe it was a six pack of these you can get for $15. Not a bad deal. Came with a nice sticker of the nice character on the front. Uh, you can also get a plushie that's like a grape with a tentacle like as the vine. And that's a cute little artistic detail. Uh, it was fucking sold out when I checked, but plushies are pretty popular regardless. Uh, anyhow, uh, if you want, you can still get one of these. Uh, they might, I believe it ended, but recently they also started selling a version that has both the character you see on the front here, as well as Zone Tan as part of like a special collaborative edition, but I, I think that might be done, at least by the time this video is out. Uh, regardless, I grabbed it, and it's tentacle grape, we already know what we're getting into, it's probably just fucking grape soda, but hey, the novelty's worth it in my opinion. You know, you don't really see too much uh, hentai uh, themed food nowadays, especially not like publicly advertised, generally hentai is uh, it's not a very public thing nowadays. It, it, we're, we, it's hard to market something like that because otherwise, you know, general audiences will essentially uh, alienate or make fun of you. And it's nice to see something like this that's like, you know what, you know the hentai reference, but it's not so like on the nose that it's like... I can believe that a person would buy this uh, for more than just the hentai reference, you know what I mean? Like, t it's tentacle great. You know what you're getting into, and it's cute. So, uh, let's give it a try here. That is grape soda. Nerds! Is this porn? <laughs> no, these are nerds. What's great for some of Nerds! Another pint-sized little grab-and-go box. Another personal favorite of mine. I'm not the biggest fan of grape, as most people aren't these days, but grape nerds are the definitive best grape-flavored candy. There's no dispute there. Sure. Nice nerds grape. Hell yeah. Put a little bit. They have a very distinct texture, like nothing else. Or, besides like runts, but runts are bad. <laughs> oh, I like runts. You just like the banana one. I, li I like them all. I like the strawberry ones. And but the, ones. the thing with runts is that they're just dense nerds. Yeah, nah, you're not wrong. You're not the, wrong. The coating is too much. With nerds, you get like a good ratio. Mm. All right. Reese's Pieces. Whoa. No. Always the classic, always the classic. The little brother to M&M's in terms of commonality. They're better than M&M's. There's no chocolate in Reese's Pieces either. Really? Nope. Oh, that's interesting. It's all just peanut butter and candy coating. I always thought the outside was chocolate. So that's, how, that's how they get you. You just assume based on, a, based on the Reese's lore... That if you got a chocolate peanut butter situation, but you see right there in the fine print, peanut butter candy in a crunchy shell. Whoa. The more you know. I got These are also delicious. Reese's are my favorite candy brand, period. So, mm -hmm. big, big fan there. 
Uh, my next candy is one that I hate, which <laughs> is Whoppers. Whoppers, let's go. Whoopers. I really do not like malt <laughs> as a flavor. <laughs> no malt. I really do not. But um, what if we go to the malt shop like a hero Scooby Doo? I've never had a malt. I know it, like I know there's like malt powder. Mm -hmm. Tell me where you would find a malt shake. I don't believe that's a thing anymore. I don't know. <laughs> it's lost to the past. Oh no! I, there, uh, I've been to a burger joint that had malt milkshakes. What burger joint, huh? God, it was you one in Jacksonville. It, it wasn't fake. <laughs> what flavors are they? Is, is it just like? It was a malt milkshake. It's essentially they use the malt powder to make it thicker, essentially. Okay. So it's a, it's really good. Like you don't, it's not like a gritty or anything like that. It's it, it's pretty good. So they're like just plain chocolate balls, but Ooh. with like a pure white interior, with malt. I like the texture; it's really nice. But tell me about the flavor; it grosses me out. And I always get a ton of these at Halloween. Hell yeah! I always would, so I just <laughs> either suffer through or try to trade them to somebody else. For some reason, Whoppers were like a really common trick or treat candy. Not sure, not sure. They're just included in all the other packs, I guess. That's mm. true. But you can't really buy them by themselves. Mm. Let's see, now I've got one. You wouldn't call this the bane of Halloween's existence. It's that's certainly reserved for another far worse candy. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got fruit snacks. Another yeah, the yeah. classic, whoa, a, the classic Pokemon fruit snacks. Let's fucking I love go. those. <laughs> Hell yeah! So, so it, we all know fruit snacks are good and delicious, but when you're ch when you're a kid and it's Halloween, the last thing you want is a fruit snack. You just want real diehard candy. So it's one of those things where you still eat it, you'll still like it, but you're just upset that it's not real candy, <laughs> even though fruit snacks pretty much are. Mm. These ones and the Scooby Doo ones are the best. Same, I was about to say that, the Scooby-Doo ones. Yeah. The Scooby-Doo ones are, were like, uh, they're, they were much tougher. They, yep. They held together more. These ones stick to your teeth like a motherfucker. <laughs> My favorite flavor was Lugia. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Was, these are colored, but I remember the ones that were just like, kind of soapy colored, like bluish grayish. Mm. No color. Oh yeah, I remember those. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, here's another uh, classic Skittles. You can't. You must have had a good costume if you got the full bar. It is a pretty good costume. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. It'd be heavy to carry a bunch of Skittles packs. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, absolutely. See, right. I got a every every year it seems Skittles try something new with their Halloween flavors. Uh, these are Skittles Shriek, Shriekers, I believe is what they're called. They make you fucking scream. Yeah. So the gimmick with these is that uh, there's a few Skittles in here that look like Skittles, but in fact, when you bite into them, they're super soft, and it's like eating a really tart. You know the chewy uh, sweet tarts. Yeah, it's like that, but a lot more sour. Whoa, that's so like, scary. Yeah, so like you'll eat up, you'll pop a handful of these, and like one of them will be like super soft, while the rest are like firm, and then it'll just fill <laughs> your mouth with sour. I want to try my luck. Open right. that bad boy. Absolutely that's really cool. Hey, did the light change in here? Hmm? Wasn't it like green before or something? Yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah. Uh, I like this gimmick a lot more than last year's. Last year's they had a flavor gimmick on Halloween called uh, Zombie Skittles. And what it was is that one fuck a, a handful of Skittles in each pack was absolutely rancid savory <laughs> flavored. That shit was disgusting. Like, you... I'm the type of person who, like, will pour, like, a mouthful with these because like it'll be cheat day and i'll be like i'm fucking starving for something sh really sweet star. so like i'll put it in my fucking mouth and with that particular day i remember oh this is gonna be so cool and i read on the back where it's like one of them is so bad i'll make you scream but of course it's skittles how bad can it be no one of those skittles ruins the entire mouthful you will never <laughs> get the fucking taste out of your mouth how you said savory what how would you describe it 
I refer to it as savory. It's sort of like... Like roast chicken or like soy sauce or... It's not like a savory in like umami sense. Savory in that like amongst the fruity flavors it stands out as not being fruity. I can see that. If you had one piece of Skittle in your mouth that didn't have like a, a fruity sweet flavor. Right. It's like bite... You know fucking bean boozled the friggin earthworm flavor yeah i would compare it to that oh uh, yuck i yeah. didn't get any of the tarts they were really sour you should try again please i didn't get any of it i thought the like ones that are off color would be it i already had sour but no it's actually random hmm. speaking of random my next one is starburst packs Ooh. Woo! Those, Which you could have any colors in here. Those were so sick. You get the two pack in there. I remember breaking these open to trade candy so you could tell what colors you had. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't trade ones you didn't like. You got uh, red and yellow. Which you can combine by mushing them together. <laughs> like an airhead. Yeah. Did you ever take the airhead packets and go like this with them and try to like get them all condensed? I remember you did that and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're like shaking it, like tapping a box of cigarettes. Yeah, <laughs> packing my airheads. Packing your airhead to get the nicotine at the bottom. If you did that enough, you can make like a square brick of airhead. Yeah. It's like, it's like scrunching up your cotton candy into a little ball. <laughs> and then eating that brick. God oh, damn it. No sour? No. Steven? Are nope. you a blue breed? No. <laughs> I mean, <you're> <laughs> I mean, Among Us. <laughs> Magnus, yeah. get off the set. Uh, Magnus, get him in a candy. I'm Don't sorry. Don't touch the computer. There's uh, more trolley stuff. These trolley sour bites with a little. There's a little jack o' lantern on there. Ooh. There's a. Uh, they're kind of like jelly beans. I think they're a pretty new thing. They have a master. I don't know if they're fuller than that. They're all right. They're pretty good. They're strangely addictive. Mm -hmm. And you just get a whole handful in this little box. Mm -hmm. So you just want another one. It's like Boston baked beans. A box of beans. Exactly. <laughs> I peered into your bucket what? when I shouldn't have. I saw something de devilish in there. <laughs> I don't. I didn't look. <laughs> I say the last one I want to share. So I've made a tradition. Uh, I guess I should go back to the beginning. So. Me and G Pool and uh, Virgil as well, we used to watch this channel called this Rich guy. Alvarez. Used to? Rich Alvarez. We, watch, we occasionally watch this channel called Rich Alvarez. He was, uh. Is. You know what? I guess I don't really have to explain. If you've watched the show, you already know. Just in brief, he created a web show called Stupid Mario Brothers that we grew up watching uh, in the early days, in our early days on the internet. And essentially, uh, in 2016, he was kind of nearing the end of where he peaked in popularity, and he was experimenting with a bunch of different video formats. And one of those was a cooking show with his wife. And at one point... What do you think uh, of his wife? Oh, his wife is hot. His wife Thank got you. fucking melons, man. <laughs> all right, all right, keep going. <laughs> anyway, she got some real jack-o'-lanterns. So, uh... Oh, jackie lanterns oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So, anyway, there was an episode of that cooking show where they were trying all sorts of different pumpkin spice stuff, and I felt inspired by that because I like pumpkin spice, and I like making a tradition of trying something new pumpkin spice flavored every year. You can watch my YouTube poop of that video. It's called Fritch Alvarez Feeds His Wife After Midnight. <laughs> that is a good one. I too, I too made an edit, but it's very mean, so you probably won't see it. Uh, <laughs> So, this year, there are pumpkin spice Twinkies. Oh yeah! Uh, I saw those. They look, they look really decent. Uh, pumpkin spice uh, cream filling. I'm interested to see how they are. They're orange. Oh, God. He has multiple. I thought they were yellow in the light, but they're just orange. I haven't had a Twinkie in years. I love Twinkies. I haven't had a Twinkie since I was like a kid. I don't know. Probably forever. I don't know if I've ever had anything pumpkin spice, to be honest with you. It's kind of like Cheeto dust. <laughs> it's Cheeto <laughs> dust. Yuck. <laughs> Cheesy, soft, sponge. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Sit down, eat your food. 
Shit! Your Cheeto dust meal. <laughs> that was Mountain Dew cream. Oh, that is good. That's quite pleasing. Oh, that's damn good. Hell yeah. I love pumpkin spice stuff. Same. I always, always forget how spongy Twinkies are. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is really good. Holy shit. <laughs> Into the mask. <laughs> I would love a bit if it would, it would have to be a master craft of editing where you put the whole wrapper, the whole thing in there, and then you pull it down and the whole thing's gone. I guess you could just hide it in your mouth. I don't know if you have more hidden in there or not. <laughs> no, I only brought three. Ah, that'd be good. <laughs> put the whole Twinkie in is just gone. We could have that. Do you have more in your in your car or anything? No, they're all they're all at home. Okay, I just okay. brought enough to share. It's okay. Okay, my last one is my favorite candy, which is Tiny Snickers bars. Whoa. Just Ooh. like that. It says R for some reason. <laughs> what does it stand for? Uh, what neighborhood did you get that one from? Respect. Respect Snickers. Yeah, uh, these are like my favorite because they have everything. They have chocolate, caramel, and nuts. And those are the only candy things I care about the most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just I just blatantly said that I care about a lot of other candy, but I do like these a lot. It's okay. It's all it's what this is all about. All the stuff that evokes is a holiday. All this candy that us 20-somethings shouldn't be eating. That's okay. That's just finish your bucket. No more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, it's a perfect serving size. <laughs> I think this is the last thing I got in here. I got lemon heads. Ooh, there we go. You got lemon that? heads, I think so. Freeze frame that. <laughs> Freeze frame, put a, some, put a circle with an arrow pointing to it <laughs> over the ghostly orb. Don't worry, recording 120 FPS for sure. <laughs> Edit it so it snaps cuts to when Joey knocked his camera over, so he readjusts it and it's him. <laughs> you know, Joey. <laughs> Our good friend. Our good boy, our boy Joey. Lemon heads are good. Ideally, I like the smaller ones, but these are still fine. The the lemon coating is really what you're here for. So when you just got like a a sweet lemony sucker in the aftermath, I'm kind of like eh, whatever. But I really like the outer casing of the lemon head. Mm -hmm. It's really good. How do you feel about the other fruit heads? I like them. I've, they only really show up in like chewy varieties, though. So mm -hmm. it's not really the same thing as the lemon head, at least sure. in my experience. I think there's other ones. I don't know. There was a. Oh, there was yeah, an apple right. head, and I think a grape head. Yeah, that's what I was about grape to. Grape head comes to mind for me. Yeah, I was about to talk. I was about to uh, talk about that. There was a gas station we used to go to, or a convenience store rather, called Cornwells. Uh, it recently got. Docks! 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 And it, <laughs> it's closed forever! Docks! It's, it's gone now, but regardless, they had a whole thing of grape heads, and I remember every time we'd go in there, uh, we do a thing where we're like, oh, you should get this, just as like a personal gig between us, and I remember that was always on the list of things that we <laughs> had to get. That thing I do every time we go anywhere ever. Yeah, I we're not. That. You don't live that close to it, but it's like on the way out to other places. It's true. Mm -hmm. um, it's that, very far away. That place was like so funny. It was like... <laughs> Everything they had bought there and stocked there must have been there for years. And they were right. just selling out until they're out of inventory and then they closed forever. They had like great value branded products on the shelf, which are exclusively <laughs> a Walmart. Just brand. obviously either discount, stolen, marked up. It's true. And you got that DVD of Super Duper Sumos. Oh, yeah. Sealed copy of Super Duper Sumos. Super Duper Sealed Sumos. for your protection. They've got the signature vending machine, or the signature ATM there, where you hand them your card and they pull it behind a closed door and then come back and give you some money. <laughs> they take and don't card. give it back. <laughs> they take the card and then they put up the closed sign and ask you to leave. Vending machine is closed. Goodbye. I mean, ATM. <laughs> I did like towards the end there where they had the exclusive slot machines in the back. <laughs> did they actually? Yeah. That's crazy. That's like that's like fucking New York City like <laughs> shit where they would have slot machines on the back of like convenience stores or bodegas or whatever and the police would just ignore them. Mm -hmm. Such is life. That is life. Anyways, thanks for joining us on this Halloween episode. Thanks for joining us, guys. We had a good time. Uh, 
tried a whole bunch of different treats. Maybe if you are looking for just something to aid your sweet tooth this year, maybe you'll go out and find one of these. Uh, I definitely, out of the new Halloween gimmicky foods, I definitely recommend the pumpkin spice Twinkies and the, uh, let's see, God, what was it? Anyway, so the pumpkin spice Twinkies. And the tentacle grape soda. And the tentacle grape soda, of course. It's out of stock now. Give up. No. <laughs> yeah, Give up. <laughs> Maybe somebody will put it in your Halloween bucket. <laughs> Maybe someone Here will pour go. it in your Halloween bucket. <laughs> Here you go. They, they come to the door, slosh, told them the thing. Here you go, kids. If you go trick or treating, you might you have a chance to open for the zone tan to open the door in all of her two D glory and pour soda into your candy bucket. It's yeah. true. It's true. Your head reminds me in this lighting of like the the Robert Benford like Knox cast era like claymation blue men. I was gonna say <laughs> Cobra Commander. What are you doing with that sniffer rifle? <laughs> You've uh, lost me. I, I love Robert Benford. He's so funny. Oh, that's, that's an old dude. He'll, uh, he'll pop up on YouTube now and then with like dry sketch comedy that makes me laugh. Oh, I didn't even know he was still going. I don't. I think the last thing I remember him posting was like a couple of years ago, but more or less. Mm -hmm. Badlands Chugs. We challenge you to do the three pumpkin pail chug. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna do it, but you have to. <laughs> of tentacle grape soda. Yeah, Badlands, get you some illegal tentacle grape soda. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's naughty. You would say that. After belching really loud. And I'm looking sad in his 3D model. You see in the background he has like a fucking little mini TV, one of those old style like mini CRTs, like 96p going with a fucking zone <laughs> animation. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be one of the ones he had to sign up for the, the archive for to get. I downloaded Flash Infinity. They have all of his animations. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs>